Hi, Brad here. In today's video, we're gonna install a new vinyl pool liner in our above ground pool. This isn't gonna be a how-to, but it's certainly gonna give you a vibe of what it's like to get a new pool liner installed. And I think you're gonna glean a couple tips along the way. We're finally gonna get our liner in, so it's gotta be in the 70s for that. And we got some unseen 70s weather, so we got a call from our pool liner installer saying I can come in there in a couple days. So how long did our old liner last? About 10 years. Your two threats to your pool liner are UV light. So covering your pool in the winter will help reduce that you know, exposure to UV light. And then the second issue is harsh chemicals. The old one was taken out, the new one installed. It was all done in one day. What you doing? Moving rocks. What for? Getting a new liner in, hopefully tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah, I hope so. So, yeah. Awesome. Looks like fun. It is. <laughs> it's a blast. I have to double bag them or they break. Oh, yeah. You don't have enough buckets. Yeah. Never put rocks by your pool, guys. <laughs> It'll come back to haunt you. We had them all around the house, so we had to move them somewhere, and this made logical sense at the time. In fact, when they emptied the pool, it took just over an hour to empty it. It emptied very fast. By the way, it empties way faster than it fills up. It took almost three days to fill it up. One thing that was interesting was that when they installed the pool, they wanted to keep the supports for the pool right where they were. They didn't want to try to move anything. We had one other time that we paid somebody to install a new liner, and they moved things around more. When we get our new liner, they're gonna fix all this. That's okay. a hole right there almost. I hope it doesn't like burst when you're putting that on. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get a clip. Yeah, he showed me that, yeah. This is where it got patched. We just have to be careful here, but nobody should be there anyway. No, right. So that should be okay. Glad you guys are here. Thanks for having us. We appreciate the business. You bet. In the description box, I'll put a uh, the price we paid for this liner, and if I can give you a link, I'll put it there. And also some of the pricing for you know the liner, the pad, the cove. They put this out there so that it gets warm in the sun so they can uh, get the wrinkles out. Liner pad. Yep. Sweet. That'll also help your liner last a lot longer too. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. The number one question that we get on our channel is why don't we cover our pool in the wintertime? And we've tried this in the past, guys, but what happens is because there's a lot of snow, we're in Wisconsin, there's snow, ice, wind, and our pool is very large, and we always have a failure with the, with the cover. And even if that pool cover stays on, it's just gonna be real nasty and get green and icky and the ducks poop and you know, the water that's above it. And sometimes that tarp, just trying to get it out of the pool, you're gonna get some of that in the, in the pool itself. So there's a certain amount of maintenance on that pool cover. So you can, you know, either do it as you go along or you can just in the springtime, you know, spend more time opening up your pool. And that's what we opted to do in more recent years. And you know, we don't spend the time tweaking and putting every chemical under the sun in there. We just pretty much just use the, the chlorine, the algicide, and the clarifier. And that's the other question we get, the, probably the number two question is, don't we do all the extra chemicals, you know, make sure that that there's the right amount of, you know, it's not too hard or not too soft the water. Well, we don't do that because it's just, we found that it didn't make much of a difference. But it's true that your liner will last longer. So would our liner have lasted longer if we did all that and we covered our pool? Yes, probably. Well, I'm sure it would. How long? I don't know. I think the number one threat's probably that UV light. So those are the two most common questions that we get with our pool videos. Our new pool liner has a 15 year limited warranty and our installer says this liner should last at least 10 years or more, maybe even 15 years. But that's if we cover the pool 
and uh, we keep harsh chemicals out of there. You know, we, in other words, we besides putting in the algicide, clarifier, and chlorine, we do all the other stuff. You know, we make sure we don't have too hard or too soft a water, and this, that, and the third. All right, so now that we got the new pool liner in, we're gonna get a sample of the water, which is just tap water, take it into the pool store. I'm gonna have them assay that water and tell us what we need to put in there. And uh, so I'll put in the chemicals that they recommend adding because it's just been refilled. And so maybe, like I said, maybe we'll cover the pool this winter. We'll try it one more time. Maybe I'll spend more time with the chemicals. Yeah. He loves to do work. Doing. Hee hee. Do you like that? All right. Well, again, this isn't a how-to, but it kind of gives you the vibe of what it's like to have a new pool liner installed on an above-ground pool. So thank you so much for watching our video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Like and share our video, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.